So let's change a profile. But before we change the profile, just exactly what is a profile? Well, profiles are predefined monitor configurations, and they let you change the configuration of the whole monitor so that you can adapt it to different monitoring situations. Now, the changes that occur when you change a complete profile are far more reaching than those made when you just change a screen. Screens only affect what's shown on the display, and profiles affect all monitor and measurement settings. So let's consider this example. You're in the emergency room, and your monitor is currently configured for an adult patient, but your next patient is a five-year-old child. So by switching to a predefined pediatric emergency room profile, you can have appropriate measurement settings, such as alarm limits and patient category, with one touch instead of having to alter measurements and limits individually. Now in this example, the monitor's profile is based on the age and condition of the patient, but there are many other use models. Now your clinical specialist will be going through those with you and to define profiles for your specific unit. Now to change a profile, there are a couple ways. One is in the information bar. You can touch the current profile. That opens up the profile menu, and then you can select the profile you want. Now down in the smart key area, you'll notice it changed to confirm. You have to confirm to change the profile. Once you've done that, the profile will change. The second way to change a profile is by having a smart key configured for profiles. If one is configured, Scroll through until you see the smart key for profiles. Touch the profile smart key. That opens the windows for your profile. Select the profile you want. Touch confirm again in the smart key area and your profiles will change. 